Hey, welcome to the video. In this iMovie tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can import your clips that you've just recently imported and drag them into your timeline to start creating your very first iMovie project. I'll also show you how you can use things like transitions to make your videos a little bit better. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we're into the MacBook Pro again. And as mentioned, these are gonna be very quick videos. And in this one, I'm gonna show you, now you've got the footage into iMovie, how do you get it onto your timeline? What are the best ways of doing that? And then how do you go about making your first edits and using transitions? So in the last video, we imported these clips uh, from my iPhone from a desktop folder. So how do you get these bits of footage into your timeline? Well, there's essentially a couple of ways. You can just click on a clip and drag it in, but that will bring the entire clip. And you know what, it's not really best to do that. If you wanna learn video editing the right way, what you should do here in your project window is actually start making some mark in and out points. And what is a mark in and out point? Well, let's play this clip here. You can see I started filming. I kind of really want to use it from this point here. We don't want that uh, part of the clip where I was looking down at the ground. So how you can make a mark in and a mark out point, and this is where a clip would start and end, is use your mouse cursor drag it to the point that you want to start, which I would say is about there, and then press I on your keyboard. Then drag your cursor along to where you want the clip to stop, which I would say is just about there. Press O, and then you can see we now have this little, little yellow box on the clip. So if we now uh, click that plus icon, or drag it into the timeline, you can see if we play this clip here, we've only got the bit of that clip that we want to start creating our movie. And you know, that's the best way to actually start putting an edit together. You can fine tune the clips once they are in the timeline, but this is just a real nice way of doing it. So it's much a, a sort of more neater process of, of moving forward. So again, if I, if I do that, this time you can also uh, do it a different way. You can drag in the sides here. As you can see as I move my cursor to the left and right. Um, so I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna go past this kind of flower pot thing. And then we're going to start it just as we hit that lamppost. And then for the end clip, uh, let's maybe just end it about there. And then if we add that to the timeline, you can see if I just zoom out by pressing Command and minus, you can now see we've got our two clips here on the timeline that will now cut to each other. And we've got almost exactly what we wanted. Now let's just say once we've got the timeline uh, together and you've started getting a couple of clips in here. Let's just say, you know what, I don't want this flower pot uh, here on the right, this planter. How do you now change that in point, that mark in point? You can simply click the clip and then drag from the left-hand side to the point you want it to start, let's say there. And now that clip will start from that point. So you can see we go from there and we no longer see that planter in there. So you can, fine tune your clips once they are in your timeline. And this is how you edit really. You, you get your rough mark in and out points uh, in your media window, drag them to your timeline, get the story in order, and then start really fine tuning your edits. And this is where it starts to get fun and this way you'll start to learn your editing process. Now, we've got that and this is how you would go through. So if I zoom out, let's add another little clip on there. Uh, these aren't really in any order of course, but uh, let's just say we wanna mark in there. Just walking down the road. We're looking up at the top of the, the office there on the left. And then we're gonna mark out and we're gonna drag that down. So we've got three clips, but let's just say we wanna use a transition. What you can do, we're gonna go into transitions into more uh, detail a bit later on, but I just wanna show you quickly how you can do that. At the top here of your media library, you've got transitions. Now the most common one you will see in TV shows and uh, even YouTube videos is the cross dissolve. So let's drag that between two clips and you can now see we have this transition icon and what will happen now as we go between these two clips you'll see they cross fade from one to the other there we go and you can override this with a different transition if you want so let's use this closed circle one let's drag that on top of the previous one that will replace it and then watch what happens There we go. So you can see that is how you import clips onto your timeline, start making your first edits, how you can fine tune your footage and how you can add your first transition. 
So there you go, it's not that hard, is it? So now you've learned how you can import your clips into your timeline and you can start making your first edits. That's pretty cool, right? So this is part of my full iMovie playlist where I'm gonna take you from a beginner to a pro in no time. So make sure you check out the entire playlist and you can skip to any chapter you want if there's something you wanna learn about. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can record voiceover directly into your iMovie projects. So stay tuned.